Bye. It's time for Matt's on Learning Lockdown with me, Mr. S and Mr. A, the Blue College. Learning Lockdown. Now, yesterday we introduced you to a protractor, <laughs> not a professional tractor, as Mr. S Sorry, thought. Sorry, right now. And what do we use a protractor for? Well, we used it to measure angles, so points of turn or where two lines meet. And at the end of yesterday's lesson, we introduced you to this man. Do you know what that was called again? It was a right angle. So how many degrees in a right angle, Mr. S? 90. And where might you find some? Um, on the corners of things like a square or a rectangle. Perfect. Any around our table? There's some books here. My dictionary's got them. Uh, this Rubik's Cube has got right angles at the end. This box of highlighters has right as loads. Brilliant. Now, a right angle is a very special type of angle because it has its own special name. We don't just call it 90 degrees. We call it a right angle. But also, it's a good indicator to help us name some other angles because some angles could be smaller than 90 degrees and some angles could be bigger than 90 degrees and these also have special names now just for a disclaimer today we're not looking at angles that are even bigger than a straight line because believe it or not you can have angles that go further than a straight line but we're not looking at those today we're just going up to angles that are 180 degrees also known as a straight line so the two names let's start with the smaller than 90 degrees mr s what do you know about these angles well any angle that is bigger than zero and yeah. smaller than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. And if that's 90 degrees, then when it goes like this, it is an acute angle. It is smaller than 90 degrees. And the, an easy way to remember it is, it's cute. It's an acute it's small, angle. It's small, acute. Oh. So those are acute angles. And they're easy to recognize because they're smaller than 90 degrees. And you've just got to have that 90 degrees in your head. Well, let's go the other direction then. So any angle that is more than 90 degrees in stress. Yes, so Mr. A has already mentioned that a straight line, if you measure the distance from one point of a straight line to another point of a straight line, is 180 degrees. So therefore, any angle that's between 90, our right angle, and 180, our straight line, is larger than a right angle, and we call it an obtuse. <laughs> Sorry, it always scares me. It's called an obtuse Angle, and you've got a good way to remember obtuse avenues. So acute is nice and small. It's not the best way, but it, it's kind of the way I've always thought about it. So you've got the word obese that means large. Well, ob, the start of it, ob, is also in obtuse. I mean, it's slightly different pronunciations, but that's the way I've always described it. So it's a Whatever. larger angle. It's obtuse. Whatever helps you remember. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever tickles your fancy. Whatever scratches your itch. So... Those are the two terms we need you to learn today. Acute, smaller than 90 degrees, and obtuse, larger than 90 degrees. But don't forget, you still need that right angle in the middle because he is neither acute or obtuse. He is his own special angle. He's a bit, he's a bit like a show off, really, I think, Mr. Right. He's like, oh, look at me, I've got my own name. It's I've like, got my own, yeah, my own, my own. But it's like shapes in Mr. Square. I'm everywhere. You know, you know, a square is a type of a rectangle, but just because all of his sides are equal, he calls himself a square. So just, see, it's the place it's just a rectangle, mate. Anyway, your task today is to have a look at some angles and recognise them as either acute or obtuse. You might not even need a protractor for this one today because you should be able to do this one should be able to do by this. eye. So protractor, get rid of that. That is your math lesson for today. Oh.